Chakrov here. I hope everyone's doing all right. Um, I just did a big video to show my mail day that I opened live on camera. Then the video stopped. My camera just boom, stopped before the end of the video. So doing a fast one. Um, I received this all from a single case group break uh, division style that I made with Cleats and Shara. Uh, as usual, yes. Uh, I got Northeast with the fifth overall spot out of six. Um, I don't know how you can let go of Montreal Canadiens, Boston Bruins, Toronto Maple Leafs, Ottawa Senators, and Buffalo Sabres until the fifth spot. Uh, it's a very big gamble, and the people who did that lost because I won big time. Um, right before, I just want to show you two very nice one of ones that I uh, purchased off eBay. First one's the Spring uh, Spring Expo Super Box Mega Memorabilia uh, from a CHL Russia uh, Canada Russia Challenge jersey uh, in 2006. One of one James Neal. Doesn't look like much, but it's a nice three color jersey from a very very good prospect that could do big things. Let me try to put my camera a bit more like. That's not going to work. Yes! It kind of works. Uh, it's going to be better that way to show you uh, the cards, actually. Um, then I received, I, I got a very nice addition to my collection. Um, it's a uh, paper cut and memorabilia from Ultimate 11th Edition. Uh, they're very nice two-color jersey, very nice cut autograph. Uh, the guy died like 25 years ago, so he doesn't sign much these days. Very happy to add this to my collection. Arguably the best defenseman of the Habs history, Doug Harvey. Let's see, uno de uno. Nice two-color jersey. Very neat autograph. There's one on, in the back, probably of the the sheet he was he signed on. I'm wondering who that is, but. Anyway, very happy with that one. And for the big, big package, as I'm saying, uh, I got uh, Northeast fifth overall spot out of six. I killed the break. I watched the video on YouTube. Uh, I'll, I might try to post the link if you want to watch the full video break. Um, I missed on a big card um, random that was uh, eight piece. Uh, I think it was a Jersey Prime out of 25. No, that was a regular Jersey. I think it was a regular Jersey. It was from the, I think, 2000. Eight World Junior, something like that with Eberle, Subban, blah, 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 blah. I had like three out of eight spots, but I didn't win it. It's okay. I won others. So here's what I got from that case break uh, in order of importance, pretty much. So I got a Thomas Spanik base out of 199. Brad Boyce jersey out of 100. Tyler Myers jersey out of 100. I got Marcus Foligno autograph. I don't understand why uh, he doesn't have a patch auto. It's okay. Out of 199. That guy has a strong following. Uh, then I received a patch auto signature patch. I'd say, I guess. Uh, patch and autograph. Two colors. Barely three breaks. Numbered out of 50. Phil Kessel. Uh, rookie patch auto gold number 10 out of 25 with a sticker auto interesting fact with this card is that um, this specific player uh, will not sign anything anymore uh, I don't know what happened but he now refuses to sign so Panini decided to use the sticker autos instead of not producing the card which is a cool thing uh, for Habs fan so I'm glad they did it uh, so I can have this card in hand. Very nice two-color patch, but with like four, one, two, three, four, barely five breaks, Alex Yemelin. So apparently this guy will not sign anymore. So here's the reason to the sticker auto, if you're wondering. Now I got Peerless Patchers, Patch and Auto, uh, number 12 out of 40 with barely two colors. Bit like a seam at the bottom of the patch, left side of the patch, Phil Kessel. Very boring patch. It's okay. Very, very nice card here. Stick side signatures. Um, numbered 7 of 25, featuring a very nice autograph. Gold autograph on a piece of stick. 
very neat card. Um, so 7 of 25, Cam Neely. Love this card. It's very nice. As you can see, very neat gold auto on that blue stick. Looks terrific. Um, I got the only short print Rucko rookie auto patch out of the case. Uh, numbered out of 99, that's a redemption. Cody Hudson. Pretty sweet. Then I received the nastiest Mammoth patch that you can possibly get from a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. It's it's amazing from a shoulder patch. Numbered 4 out of 10, Matt Fratton. Look at this patch, it's just ridiculous, amazing. You can actually see this. You can actually see the patch on his shoulder. Very neat. And final two cards are both booklets. Uh, peerless patches, both of them. Numbered 14 out of 50 in the rookies one. Carl Haglin and Colin Greening. Neat Haglin patch. The three color Greening. As you can see, 14 out of 15. And finally, the last one, another peerless patches, 8 of 15, that one, featuring a ridiculous patch, uh, and a very nice one, the other one's very nice too, Daniel Alfredson and Henrik Zetterberg, Alfredson, nice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 breaks, and the ridiculous Henrik Zetterberg, very neat patch, I think that's a good one. All right, that's it. I'm done. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Now I'll go uh, sleep, probably. See you guys later. I will post this up on Feebay, most likely. If you're interested, hit me up on cluthandchar.com or on YouTube, but most likely do it on cluthandchar.com. It's easier for me. Uh, hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you later with more stuff.